Hey guys, uh, welcome to your Twin Flame reading for Cancer. This is going to be for your March 2023. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. So uh, we are going to take a look and see how your Twin Flame journey is going, what's going on with your Twin Flame, how you're viewing them, and then we'll take a look and see how your Twin Flame is viewing, viewing you. <coughs> and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations. Switch the rules if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective cancer people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the link for that is, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too. Also, if you guys uh, didn't know, I am doing a giveaway for a free 30-minute personal reading with me on Zoom. So if you guys are interested in that, uh, I did post up the details on how to enter in the uh, community tab on my YouTube page. I will announce the winner on March 8th, okay? So, um, cancer. Tell me about cancer here. What's going on with Cancer and their Twin Flame journey? Tell me about Cancer and their Twin Flame journey. How is Cancer being their Twin Flame? What's going on with their Twin Flame for March 2024? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Cancer. For Cancer with the Five of Cups here and the uh, Strength card, Leo Energy. Someone here is definitely feeling very, very disappointed, feeling very, very let down here. You might be viewing your twin flame as someone who has let you down, someone who is disconnected from you, explored other options here, or is exploring other options here instead of focusing on you and giving attention. It seems like this person likes to give attention to a lot of different other people or different things here with a five of pentacles here and a three of swords. You're viewing your twin flame as someone who has left you and has broken your heart here, basically. Okay? So, you know, I do feel like this person definitely is juggling you. I mean, I feel like right now in this very moment, this person's definitely, you know, running around juggling, juggling other people here. Uh, if you're separated from this person, this person's definitely seeking out like a lot of fun here with the Queen of Wands here. Okay. I do feel like this person has a tendency to be a bit non-committal here. I mean, there could have been a third party situation involved in your uh, uh, situation here. Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sage, the Four of Swords here, and the Nine of Swords. So, Cancer, I feel like when you're with this person, I feel like you're walking on eggshell with eggshells with this person. With the Death card here, Scorpio Energy and the Seven of Cups here, I feel like you had to put an end to it because I feel like it's just too much games, too much conflict here. You were realizing that, you know, you were in a toxic situation. I mean, this could be an indication that this person could be committed elsewhere here. I mean, we do have a Queen of Wands here. Sometimes that's a representation of another party here, okay? The Devil Capricorn energy. Tell me how uh, Cancer's Twin Flame is being Cancer. How is Cancer's Twin Flame viewing Cancer? How is Cancer's Twin Flame viewing Cancer? For, uh... March 2024. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Ace of Cups here and the Page of Cups. I mean, their actions show you otherwise here, but I feel like this person definitely is in love with you. Yeah, this is going to be a bit surprising to you because their words are not really aligning with their actions here. This person's missing you a lot. I feel like this person wants to communicate with you. You know, I do feel like this person definitely thinks highly of you. This person really adores you here. So this is quite conflicting energy here because I feel like maybe you view this person as someone here who doesn't really make a lot of sense here. Yeah. Seems like this is very conflicting. This is very confusing energy. We have the star card, Aquarius energy here. The uh, fool card, Aries energy, Aquarius energy. So we have someone here that's definitely seeing you as their wish fulfillment. And you feel like this person wants to come back around towards you to have a new beginning here. <clears throat> so four cups here you know i do feel like this person is definitely coming in to make you an offer 
making, you know, give you some sort of apology here. Okay, Queen of Pentacles here and the Three of Pentacles, they want to work things out here. Uh, they want to reconcile. Um, you know, I do feel like you're, I feel like you might be this emperor here where I feel like you might go stone cold or that you're already stone cold with this energy, uh, with this individual that you've been dealing with here. All right, the Emperor Aries energy, uh, Six of Cups, the Eight of Wands here, and the Seven of Swords. You just don't trust what this person says, okay? Ten of Wands, you're letting this person go, and you're focusing on your healing at this time. The Fool card here and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, I just feel like this person's definitely holding on to you, but I feel like you're not holding on to this person here. All right, so we have the Seven of Swords here, the Ten of Wands here, and the Four of Pentacles. What else do we have here for Cancer? What else do we have for, for cancer? What else does cancer need to know? Look out for work on when it comes to this twin flame journey. Some of the wands here in the page of pentacles. Yeah, someone here is about to make you an offer here. With, with the some of the wands here, you basically drew this line in the sand with this individual. So you definitely have some strong, firm boundaries with this person. Okay, they definitely want to talk. They definitely want to talk truth here, talk story here with you, and reunite with you, okay? I mean, I mean, with the Empress here, I mean, you could be meeting your Empress here too. I mean, it could be an indication that, you know, you're uh, meeting someone new at this time and you're leaving the past behind. So I do feel like there's a new person that's coming into your life that's a major upgrade from the past person that you've been dealing with here, all right? Tell me about the uh, Sun of the Wands here. Sun of the Wands and the King of Cups. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Page of Pentacles here, and the Lovers. I feel like you're going to feel very, very confused about the way that this person views you or feels about you here. But like I said, uh, their action definitely shows otherwise. You're with the King of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, the Lovers, Gemini, Energy, the Two of Wands here, and the Queen of Swords, the Justice card, and the Ace of, Eight of Swords here. I mean, someone here could be facing your karma here. Yeah, someone here could be facing their karma. The Eight of Pentacles here and the Three of Cups, the uh, Empress here and the Knight of Swords. I do feel like there's someone else coming in for you. You're about to meet a a another person who is a soulmate here. Not a twin flame, but a soulmate here. Uh, there is going to be a new beginning that's happening here because I feel like you're really going to turn your back on the past here. All right? So... Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.